Okay, if you want to get your brad nailer to fire again, you're going to have to take it apart. It's a whole bunch of little star screws. And I had to kind of pry mine apart even after I got all the screws out. Don't forget that one there. I don't know why I couldn't. So getting it back together is going to be something else. But I was able to get it fire again. It was just flashing blinking lights. Nothing happened to it. I just picked it up one day and it stopped working. There's a bunch of oil all over the switch but that didn't have anything to do with it so you're gonna have to lift this part out and these two wires are usually wrapped around the back side of it so we're gonna take these two wires disconnect them and oh which one was it okay so this one with the red stripe we are going to wire that directly to the ground on the battery terminal so I'm just gonna solder that there I got the soldering gun heating up and then this one this is like a switch it's like it's activating the switch this push down thing to make it operate just for some little safety features so then we're gonna take the negative off of this circuit board and we're gonna run the negative from this switch to the negative of the motor so that's what I'm gonna do so the right way to do this is work on a flat surface these are incredibly helpful have a fan ready to blow away the solder and tin the end of the wire so when you put it up against so when you solder it to the negative terminal just connects very easily there we go it's working Okay, gonna test it again now that the cabling is all cleaned up and I figured out the switch. So basically all we have to do is just pull this part back and press the trigger. But we'll do it to be more safe. We'll just do it with some pliers. Yep, there we go. So now my problem is that the nails are not going in at the perfect length and I did correct it and then I overcorrected it. And then I got it about right between this part where you can actually see how you want the nail to sit. And then with this part too, but I incidentally screwed that whole piece in there so it fell in. So now I'm gonna have to take it apart again and it's not doing anything. Hopefully that can be fixed now. I can tell you how handy this little tool has been. This mini drill. Taking the screws out and putting them back in. And taking them out and putting them back in. So to get it off, you basically have to remove this one for sure. So you can remove the frame. And then... Pretty sure you, you have to remove these ones too. Just be careful when you're doing this because if you open this one first and this is still loaded, these nails can shoot out and hit you right in the face. So I've really done screwed it this time. I thought I'd be able to get into that chamber. But I might have to take this all out to get in that chamber after I push that screw in. Oh, what a shame. So I think the solution would be to just find a new bolt to put in there and cover that up and leave that one in there. 